What's up guys, Kuri here. So today I wanted to talk about all the juicy updates that we got from today's live stream for Sword Art Online Integral Factor. So everything I know is from the official Sword Art Online Integral Factor Discord server. So I will put down the link in the description box below if you want to check out things for yourself. And yeah, first of all, the next big update will hit us on May 21st. So it should be around two days when this video is out. And we really will do get a lot of things this time. Uh, let's talk about the guild updates. Um, guild skills affects which your guild um, yeah, can get by raising their guild levels. And these effects are for example call acquisition up. Which means you will get more money for killing stuff like monsters and bosses. And just doing like board quests and things like this. And then there's the effect of player experience acquisitions. And this should make farming or gaining levels a lot easier because you should get more exp for killing things again and then we have the weapon bonus acquisition up and item drop rates up which are probably self-explanatory so yeah and after this um you should probably now decide whether you want to join the guild before the 23rd because now it's actually worth it and before this i was actually debating whether i should join a guild or not but I just did it and the thing was um, that if you join a guild then you won't be able to change your server after you're in the guild so you definitely should be aware of this and oh and yeah tell all your guild mates to be active so that you can get guild levels fast and because the higher your guild level is the more skills or effects you can use which is a really juicy nice thing. Next up are some changes in the dungeons. So dungeons will have skill records and reinforcing material drops as usual. But now you will also be able to see the item drops and advantages attributes against monsters in advance so that you can prepare. Which is a nice thing because um, if you want to go into a boss room and you don't really know the weakness you might have the wrong weapon. And if you have the wrong weapon you probably want to try to equip a different weapon. Um, while you're fighting the boss and then you get killed or things like this just happen all the time to me And yeah, there will also be scores for dungeons, which means you can get the score by either clearing the time um, Very fast of this dungeon or the amount of the mobs killed during a quest So these are most likely things for guilds um, So some people might need to focus on clearing um, The boss or just clearing the dungeon and the rest of your group needs to kill all the small mobs and things like this and if you can satisfy a certain set of conditions for clearing quests, you will get additional rewards, which can probably be things like um, arcana gems and weapons probably, maybe. Maybe even our type pieces, I'm not sure yet. They didn't say anything special about this, but yeah, pretty nice thing to have. So um, next up, let's talk about Fluor 8. Yeah, Fluor 8 is finally here, or it will come on 23rd. And for that, we will most likely get 2500 Arcana Gems again, which you can of course use for scouts, as well as a new Silica emote. Um, the Silica emote will probably be free. Uh, I really like these emotes, you can just spam them and annoy the hell out of guildmates, which is always a nice thing. And it looks really, really cute. Right here, you can see it in the picture. And yeah, Fleur 8 will introduce Silicar in the storyline and will have a witch or wizard avatar in the shop for purchase. So you can also use your 2500 Akena gems for this. Um, this outfit looks pretty nice. I especially like like the gauntlet from the wizard mail. Hopefully the female can also equip it. And yeah, lastly, the most important and probably best thing of this update will be the release of the dagger class. With this, we will see a lot more skill banners featuring our favorite lowly Silica A, which is always a nice thing. I mean, Silica is probably one of the few characters using a dagger. I think we will get like Philia maybe later on, which will also be a nice addition. So yeah, daggers will most likely have fast attacking animation speed, but will do less damage than slower weapons, for example, mace or axe, but it should be clear. Also seems that they will be good for dealing state abnormal abnormalities like poison, burn, bleed or things like that. For leveling weapon proficiencies they will also have special effects which will, um, is the first for weapons I think. So one effect would be that the less HP you have the more damage you will deal. And the second effect will be that your damage will increase if you're not targeted by an enemy. So if you're in a group it's probably a good strategy to do a hit and run technique or if you have like um, an X user in your group, then you should use like skills to get the aggro of the boss, so you will deal more damage. And that's pretty cool. You always want to probably stay very low health if you can. 
And yeah, we will also get 200 free Arcana gems these days for a few weeks just because of the SAO, a GGO. Um, so definitely be hyped for this. And yeah, all of these things aren't final yet and might change. So don't beat me up, please, if I'm wrong about some things. And if you know more, then definitely tell, tell us down in the comments below. I think everyone is interested to know. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, then please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this helps me out a lot. And oh yeah. Also, if you haven't joined my Discord channel yet, a link is down in the description box below. Um, today I've actually taken some time to make it more user-friendly, add some bots, and yeah, was was a pain to do all of this, but I hope it looks a little bit better now. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!